It's one of the most talked about Oscar contenders of the year. Although controversial, Babylon is now in theaters, and Marcus Allen says its epic scenes on the big screen is what to watch. I always want to be part of something bigger. Yes. Let's go. Get ready for dizzying debauchery. Babylon is now playing. The movie is from Damien Chazelle, the guy who brought you La La Land and Whiplash. It's an epic look at the movie industry in the 1920s. Let's go! Take two! Specifically, it's about Manny, played in an Oscar-worthy performance by Diego Calva, a Mexican-American in the City of Angels at the end of the silent film era. I love that answer. And an aspiring actress, Nellie, played relentlessly by Margot Robbie, who catches Manny's eye just as her star is about to rise. I'm not alone. Also a career best performance by Brad Pitt, a silent film star whose time is up. No actors or dogs allowed. I caught up with Diego and Margot to talk about all the that. stuff we can't talk about. And when my kids say, Dad, what was the 80s like? I always like choke back like it was, a, I went to war. It's like, you know, stuff happened there that we can't talk about here. But this movie, my God, the, the 20s make the 80s look like the 50s. Absolutely. It's kind of the side of... Hollywood and this time period that is often not, you know, I think Hollywood's definitely like sanitized its version of its history in a lot of ways. And you see the very debaucherous uh, side of the 1920s Hollywood uh, in this film. And there were just tons of drugs, tons of partying, people making films and figuring out how to make films for the first time. It was dangerous. People were dying on set. I mean, it was just utter madness, utter chaos, but it was magical. And you captured it well. Uh, for you, like I know you're studied in cinematography, did you have any idea that this part of Hollywood lore existed or were you surprised that you're flipping the pages of the script going, what? I didn't know how wild it yeah. was. Like, uh, for example, like a lot of people that, uh, died young at the time. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I think Babylon shows something that no one has ever seen about the 20s. <laughs> And in the middle of all of this, relationships and love stories and things that we can all relate to, what tugs at you most when you look at this, at least from a sentimental standpoint? It's, I'm not going to give anything away, but if you don't cry in this movie, you're, yeah. you're, you, don't, you, you don't have a heart. <laughs> we are going to be more than they ever bargained for. Babylon is epic and scene to scene, either breathtaking or disturbing. But it will be getting Oscar nods and its best scene on the big screen. And... I'm going to bed. I'm Marcus Allen. Happy holidays. It's what to watch.